Abhiv, and today we are going to talk about React performance. So here we are first seeing there's a table which has particular uh, number of rows and the table is paginated like we have page 2, page 3 and roughly there are around 900 data items or you can say 900 rows uh, with 3 and uh, we have every uh, page has 3 rows so we have around 3000 rows let's uh, take it as 1000 rows and that's what we have so roughly 1000 rows and uh, that's a good amount of data for like it's not that good but it's good amount of data to see how uh, react uh, like feel the react performance here and how to optimize currently this code is unoptimized the whole thing is unoptimized and we are going to see why is it unoptimized and how we can optimize it so let's get back to the code here you can see we have mock data ts file which just gives us gives us the mock data and uh, all the data that you will see on the particular browser is being uh, fetched from here so it's just the mock data file apart from that we have a table uh, with table having table head and table body then we have pagination buttons just for simplicity i have pushed, uh, put up over here directly instead of creating a function component so here just you can uh, like you can even create a functional component or uh, just use it directly over here both of both the ways are fine uh, but for if you are focusing on complete reusability then you should actually create a particular functional component for pagination controls and you can put the whole code from line 71 to line 77 over there but uh, uh, the uh, the focus is today uh, for the performance so first of all we have to focus where that we are getting the data so use table so we are getting the data from use table right so what happens in use table it's a hook which actually gets the data uh, from the mock data file and it combines it uh, calculates the things and uh, give you headers and give you rows along with current page and pagination items so here if you see we have two things currently we are running this all rows unoptimized and one more code over you can see the code secret i just uh, uncomment it and here you can see all rows optimized so here the two functions looks very similar all rows optimized and all rows unoptimized i'll just try to just down a bit and try to focus a bit over here so if you see all rows optimize it or uh, like traverses the data like we have a map function it prints a message all rows running just to make sure that this whole thing is running the function is running and stuff just to show you the performance issues and here there is nothing like use memo that we are using uh, and it's just a data right so what we now uh, see here in the browser is let's go to inspect and let's open the console just reload so you can see page one of three one it's fine now if i click again let's see uh, let me just first okay we have this thing okay let's just click again you see 954 is again calculated the row calculation is happening again and again particularly this function is being run okay all rows unoptimized so i'll make it all rows unoptimized running and i make i'll make this all rows optimized running and right now we are going to just comment this down and save it reload all rows unoptimized is running all rows unoptimized so like this you can see on every page if you click on the page four to get on the page four is uh, being shown over here that all rows and optimized. So every on every re-render that it's actually calling that particular function, calculating all the rows, which is having like around thousand data items. So that's not worth it. How do we optimize this thing? Because data is not changing. The date size of the data is not changing and everything is same. Just the page index is changing. Uh, with this, we are just moving the array kind of a sliding window algorithms. So nothing much. So how do we do it then? So let's see. All rows unoptimized. Let's co comment this down and see what does the above comment all rows optimized. What does it do? So it uses a hook use memo which is coming from React. 
package once uh, if you see uh, the use memo what it tries to do is uh, create some memoized function and here you can see an array array columns and data what are these variables columns are the number of columns the, the table headers that you see the id name date of birth and favorite food these are the columns and it just maps it if this if this changes then this should function this then this function should run or if the, if the data changes then this function should run so it's just a memoize function and all the, this whole expensive calculation is just uh, like is run on like an in initial render and then when the columns or data items or anything in this array particularly changes its value then only this function is again uh, called and it's run back again so here if you just uh, again you just uncomment this we have commented this down let's see okay so we have an error over here and let's fix this out all rows optimized so we have all rows optimized let's see now here 954 954 right and again if you go see page 2 the thing is not running page 3 page 4 page 5 it's not running now what if i change the data item over right over here let's say uh, i just added uh, over here let me add and uh, i just add my name yeah so you see this run this function done second time so what does it signify that it means the use memo is really helping us in optimizing code this is not letting the function run until and unless the value of columns or the data is changed so it will run on the first render that's for sure otherwise how will get the data or uh, to be rendered on the screen on the browser screen so this is why the use memo really helps in such uh, calculations so try to use these things whenever uh, you are dealing with heavy data items a large number of data items so this will really help you to write efficient react code so i hope you all liked it and if you really liked it uh, and want to share some more things about it if you know things yeah just comment it down or uh, what you, uh, what kind of different videos that you want to see just comment it down make sure that you subscribe and like this video uh, if you want to talk about more things we can connect on twitter uh, this is my twitter handle uh, make sure that okay put a follow for all the content related to react javascript and uh, software engineering all those things will be put up on my twitter so thank you